What's up, family? Andre here. Over the last several days, for many of you hip-hop fans, there has been a battle that has been brewing in the news that I think is very interesting from a financial perspective. Jay-Z and Damon Dash have been fighting over his original recording of Reasonable Doubt, as Damon Dash had been set to sell Reasonable Doubt as a NFT. So on today's episode, we're going to examine the new platform of NFT, exactly what it is, how valuable the platform is, and how it can impact you and your money. But before we get started, please don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscriber button, as well as the bell next to it in order to get updated weekly content. There has been much discussion around NFTs in the news lately, not only within the hip hop world, but also within the art world. You had Andy Warhol painting that has been recently converted to an NFT and recently sold at auction. So we're gonna examine exactly what is an NFT and how it has become more of the rage within the financial world so that you can understand how this could fit into your portfolio. But first, let's examine what is an NFT. NFT stands for non-fungible tokens are cryptographic assets with unique identification codes and metadata that distinguishes them from one to the other. Unlike cryptocurrencies, NFTs cannot be traded or exchanged for equivalency. The major difference between NFTs and cryptocurrencies is that cryptocurrencies are fungible-like tokens that are identical and because they are identical, they can be exchanged across mediums as currency. NFTs, which are non-fundable tokens, are not the same and therefore cannot be exchanged or traded. The unique construction of each NFT has the potential for several uses. For example, the digitally identifiable NFTs can be used to represent physical assets such as real estate and artwork. Because NFTs are based on blockchain, they can be used to remove intermediaries and be able to connect artists directly with their audiences. It can also simplify transactions and be able to create new markets and open those up to many artists. NFTs can be both very profitable and very valuable as well. In March, a group of Beeple NFTs sold for a record $69 million. At the time, the sale was a precedent setter and a record for the most expensive digital artwork ever on record. Much of the current market for NFTs is centered around collectibles, such as digital artwork, sports cards, and rarities. But perhaps the most hype space right now in the NFT market is the NBA Top Shot. It is a collection of NFTs of tokenized NBA moments that are in digital form. There is also a market for the rarer and unique NFTs as well. Recently, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey tweeted a link to an NFT version of his first ever tweet that he uploaded on Twitter. That first ever tweet that is now in an NFT form has recently been bid up to three and a half million dollars. NFTs are shifting the crypto paradigm by making each token unique and irreplaceable. Therefore, NFTs are not equal to one another. They are digital representation of actual assets and have been likened to digital passports. They are like digital passports because each token contains a unique and indistinguishable identifier, which means that they can be distinguished from other tokens. They are also extensionable meaning that they can be combined with another NFT to breed a third and so on and so forth. Just like Bitcoin, NFTs also contain ownership details for easy identification and transfer amongst token holders. Owners can also add metadata or specific attributes to the asset within an NFT. Perhaps one of the most famous cases of NFTs are the Crypto Kitties. Developed and launched in November of 2017, the Crypto Kitties are digital representation of cats on the Ethereum blockchain. Each digital kitten has
has a unique identifier and price within the Ethereum blockchain. They reproduce amongst themselves and they have unique valuations and attributes that are different from their original digital parents. Within a few short weeks of launching, the fan base for CryptoKitties exploded, spending over $20 million in purchases on the digital replicas of kittens. In some cases, individual owners spent well over $100,000 individually on the NFTs. NFTs are a massive evolution over the relatively simple concept of cryptocurrencies. The modern financial system is based upon many sophisticated processes and algorithms regarding trading and loan systems that manage many different types of assets across the world. These assets range from real estate to lending contracts to artwork. By creating digital representations of physical assets, NFTs are a step in reinventing this particular infrastructure. To be clear, digital representation of physical assets is not a new or novel concept, nor are the unique identifiers within those assets unique or a novel concept. But when you take those concepts and combine that with the smart tamper-resistant blockchain, it sets a new precedent for a new process to change the way that assets are transferred, exchanged, or traded. One of the most obvious benefits for NFTs is market efficiency. It streamlines the process. It takes out many of the intermediaries and allows the artists to connect directly to their audience. Thus, by removing many of those intermediaries, you streamline the process and in turn, you lower costs. For example, an NFT for a wine bottle now allows for many of the people along the supply chain to be able to interact with a particular product from production to sale for the entire process of that asset. NFTs are excellent resources for identity management. Consider the actual physical passports that you and I have to utilize when we go in and out of the United States or other countries. Now with NFTs being able to be used in place of actual physical passports, they can have their own unique characteristics that could be assigned to each jurisdiction or country, thus streamlining the process for entry and exit to many different jurisdictions. NFTs can also be utilized to simplify investing of physical assets such as real estate. It is much easier to be able to divide a digital real estate asset amongst multiple owners than a physical one. This concept can also be extended beyond real estate to say, for example, artwork. When you own a physical piece of art, you typically are a single owner. With this NFT and being able to have an NFT of artwork, you now can have multiple owners of the same NFT because you are able to simplify that process by being able to divide that digital asset. One of the most exciting forms and opportunities with NFTs is creating new markets and a new form of investing. Consider the process of owning and purchasing real estate. You could parcel out land and be able to divide pieces of land and have unique characteristics for each parcel of land. A portion of that land could be next to a beach, another could be next to a downtown area, and then another could be next to a residential district. With the process of NFTs, you now can digitize that same asset and be able to divide that land into those different sections with multiple owners and unique characteristics for each NFT. This concept has already been formalized in a concept in a platform called Decentraland, which is a virtual reality platform on Ethereum's blockchain. As NFTs become more and more sophisticated and become more intertwined with the financial world, it may be possible to take some of these concepts that have been implemented in the virtual reality world regarding real estate and parceling of those digital assets and bring those into the actual real world and physically do the same thing. Let's take a look at the key takeaways regarding NFTs. NFTs are unique cryptographic tokens that cannot be replicated and exist on a blockchain. 
NFTs can be used to represent real world physical assets such as artwork and real estate. Tokenizing these physical real world assets allows them to be exchanged, traded, bought and sold in a much more efficient manner. NFTs could be used to represent people's identities, property rights, and even more uses are on tap for the future. And that is it. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of NFTs, the value that they have created in the marketplace, and the opportunities that many different areas of the financial world can be able to utilize NFTs for a much more efficient process. Well, before you go, please don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscriber button, as well as the bell next to it for updated weekly content. Thank you for tuning in.